what to say Oh, that you only meant well Well, cause you did what to say mm, That it's all for the best Cause it is Hi everyone, my name is Miss Enrique and I'm here to tell you a little bit about digital citizenship and what it's all about, okay? So there's lots of different definitions when it comes to digital citizenship, but this is probably the best one that I found and made the most sense to me. So what digital citizenship is, is someone who develops the skills and knowledge to effectively use the internet and other digital technology, especially in order to participate responsibly in social and civic activities. So basically what digital citizenship is, is the ability to be responsible while you're online, okay, or using anything that's digital. Further on, I'm going to tell you about why digital citizenship is an important topic to teach in school. I'm also going to give you rules to easy digital citizenship. I'm going to tell you about digital safety tips. And finally, some etiquette rules or guidelines. Thank you for tuning in. Why teach digital citizenship in school? So there are a lot of reasons as to why schools should teach digital citizenship in the classroom, whether it's a completely separate lesson or a lesson that are intertwined with any lesson that has to do with anything digital, or maybe before even getting onto any kind of digital devices. Okay, so these are the top five reasons. So the first reason is that it just makes us better regular citizens, both online and then offline, okay? It makes us more responsible. Number two, it makes individuals more aware of what exists in the online environment, okay? It makes people more vigilant. Number three, it allows students for independent responsibility, so it allows us to watch ourselves. Not just watch yourselves, like really watch yourselves. Number four, it allows us to help and lead others. Okay, it basically allows us to help people. And then finally, number five, it's my favorite. It makes the world a better place for you and me. Rules to easy digital citizenship. Okay, so here are some rules to really easy digital citizenship. So first of all, number one, if it hurts you or another person, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't say it. Don't write it. Don't type it and get away from that immediately. Okay. Number two, is this something the person you look up to the most would be proud of seeing? Always ask yourself that question. Number three, emotional overtones are not carried over in text or like writing form, unless like you're speaking to the person one-on-one. -on -one. So choose your words carefully. Number four, you are what you look up and what you post. Number five, if you have to ask if it's okay, it's probably not. Digital safety tips. Okay, so I'm here to share some digital safety tips for you. After having been online for such a long time, since probably the age of eight, uh, I've seen a lot of stuff and I've experienced a lot of stuff and I've seen what's happened to other people. And with the growth of advancing technology and the internet, you have to be so safe from sitting at your desk with a laptop to putting your debit card in a gas station. Now, number one, you have a right to privacy. Never share your passwords because that could be dangerous, okay? Somebody could log on to your, your, your drive and it could look like it's you when it's really not, which is like a very basic example. Number two, do your own research, okay? Especially when you buy or you spend, especially when it involves your money. Number three, don't act impulsively, okay? Whether it is in person or online. Number four, this is very important, especially as a student. Back up your data. Take photos, screenshots, keep records. I know that, for example, stuff like Google Drive will save automatically, and then the very next day, all your stuff could be gone. 
It's happened to me. It's happened to other students. So what I do, because I'm just paranoid of stuff like that happening, is I actually take photos of like documents that I might need or maybe like an essay I wrote up and I email it to myself, okay? Because those emails never seem to go away. Um, and number five, if you are worried about anything at all, um, about being found out or something, don't search, don't repost, don't reply, don't type, just don't, okay? Maybe ask a responsible adult or a responsible tech, tech savvy person at first, okay? Just to be safe, okay? Etiquette rules or guidelines. The following etiquette rules and guidelines were the top choices and suggestions from a sample of over 150 students in 2019. Rule number one, no phones or audio headsets in class or while in contact with another human being unless called for by the lesson. The explanation is that students have the opportunity to play on their phone all day long. When in contact with peers or others, students need to have the ability to put their electronics away and have human contact. Rule number two, no put downs in person or online. The explanation is that putting someone down in person or online already shows weakness as a put down only renders to push an opponent away rather than defeat the opponent. Learn to have a civil conversation. Rule number three, treat others how you would like to be treated. The explanation is that one should treat others kindly and expect the same treatment in return. If this does not happen, don't waste your time, just go be more productive. Rule number four, do not waste breath, mind, and or typing strength if these actions will not help you reach a higher level in life. The explanation is, if something hurts to read online or hurts someone else, step away from the screen or block the activity. If the situation does not allow positivity to rise internally, leave immediately. Rule number five, do not be a troll. The explanation is that trolls just have no life. Do you want to be considered as having no life? That's sad. Rule number six, research. The explanation is that you should know what you are getting yourself into. Do not go around without any actual evidence uh, to back yourself up with. Rule number seven, step back. The explanation is that you shouldn't jump to conclusions in person or online. Really think about actions before actually acting them out. Rule number eight, do not ever take credit for something online. The explanation is that you should give credit to the right people and do not leave anyone out. No one likes plagiarism, especially not the internet. Rule number nine, always ask permission if something online involves a family member, a friend, or another human being. The explanation is that you should really respect other people in all forms. What may be funny to one person may not be funny to another person. And finally, number 10, think. Human first, technology later. The explanation is that you need to remember that a human being sits on the other side of the screen. Be kind. Right.